If you want to reduce crime across the board, we need to have a court process uh, that is culturally sensitive and recognises the people that come before it. Uh, I tīmata mai e i te kaupapa o te koti rangatahi tūranga nui Ākiwa. Uh, I te mea, te nui ngō ngā ta tamariki mokopuna kei te haramai ki mō i te aroaroro te koti taiohi i taua wā. Kāore i te mōhi o te reo, kāore hoki i mōhi o kō wai rātou nō hea rātou. Ko ira te tino kaupapa, uh, ka noho moke moke, rātou ko rātou whānau, uh, I te ao Māori. The real challenge was how do we work better and provide a new model using the same legislation for our Māori rangatahi before the youth court. The objection was if we bring the system to the marae, we are inviting the legal system to invade the last bastion of what we call taha Māori. And the uh, queer who stood up turned the meeting, uh, said to everyone there, e hikama. The kaupapa is about the rangatahi. It's not about the mana of the marae, it's about the rangatahi. Bring them into the bosom of the marae so that they can feel what these marae have to offer. They can rong o te wairu o te marae. Uh, Pōhiri actually is quite calming for a lot of young people, I think. Just from the start of the day in the Pōhiri, everyone is on the same level, everyone comes in the same gate, and there is, I think, a really, really good opportunity for connections to be made. Young people talk to police officers, they talk to social workers in a different way than they would if they were in a normal youth court environment. The marae has always been a haven. The marae has always been a sanctuary. The marae has always been a place to stand and talk. <laughs> Well, Te Koti, um, they have a lot more support and they actually say a lot of things to you to encourage you to do better. Uh, it made me feel like they, they actually wanted the best for me and I felt like I had a lot of support. It made me feel loved, Didn't like I feel like I was going through this on my own. With Te Koti Rangatahi, once we get here, we're in the Wharanui, the young people get that engagement with people who they've not met before. Uh, with the kumata and the kuia that are present and um, they actually listen. I tell them they need to lift their eyes off the ground. You need to look out and see what's out there and then make your choices. The last time I saw this boy, he made, I felt very proud for him because he kept looking up and he started to hold his head high. I say to the young people when they come to court, if there's one thing you remember from your experience of the Rangatahi court, I want you to take this with you for life. It is your pepeha, identity, tuakiri, and it starts with your mountain, your river, and your tribe. Ko wai koe, no hea koe, nā te aha koe. <laughs> The Pacifica Youth Courts came off the back of uh, Te Koti Rangatahi. It was always the intention that once uh, that court was up and running for Māori young people that we would have a similar model for Pacifica young people. It's been fascinating to see law, culture and faith in one process and to see them leave the justice part behind and take with them the culture and faith. I have seen some spectacular examples of successes in the Pacifica Youth Court uh, which I don't believe we would have achieved 
in the district court, youth court setting. We have to trust people that they will grow and develop just like we as individuals think we have grown and developed. These young people are entitled to those same opportunities and have a right to expect us to go along and act ethically, professionally, with an open mind, but really importantly, I believe, with an open heart. It's not a separate system, it's an adjusted system, part of the whole, and I would resist any suggestion that we're doing something separately. It's an adapted, it's a culturally adapted process. The image of the scales, né? clearly have been unbalanced for too long. Né? And that the Māori uh, effort to balance the scales of justice is starting to shine through. It's always been said that Rangatahi Court is not a magic bullet, but it does what it does. It plays its part. And the most important part it plays is by transforming the face of a justice system to allow the Māori voice to be heard. It enhances respect for the rule of law when the law is speaking in the language of the people it is dealing with. For me, working with a group of Māori judges who have become real colleagues and confidants, that's been inspiring for me. And to see their mahi, I think the country could be cautiously optimistic and in one sense proud of what a group of committed and visionary judicial leaders have accomplished. Thank you.